Hey guys, today we're gonna be building a house in Bloxburg using only 30K. Some of you guys have been asking me how I set a budget. Basically, I have an alt account and I make myself co-owner and then I set the budget for myself like that. And now I can enter build mode. The budget is right there, 30K. So I did only 50K and the house looks pretty modern and I also did only 40K and the house again looks pretty modern. So for today's house, I'm thinking of going for a more suburban style. So this could be like our front entrance and then we can squeeze in a guest bathroom in this corner. And I don't know why the grass looks like this. I can't change. It. I don't like it either. Why Bloxburg glitching? The grass has been like this for like a couple of days. I hate it. I want this to be a pretty wide spot. Maybe a bay window is gonna go here. And if that's what we're doing, then this could be like a living room. Oh, the shape of it is looking interesting. I gotta be careful. It's not like we're working with a lot of money here. I could do like the kitchen here, dining here. I really want to place a bedroom, but this wall is in the way. I might have to lose my 22 bucks. That is unfortunate. Okay, what if I bump this out and we create a nice big big bedroom right there and then i could also bump this out a bit and this can be another bedroom what what do you mean not enough space what do you mean okay there i fixed it i don't know what that was about now because i'm building on my alt account i don't really have game passes <laughs> we'll squeeze in another bathroom there a bigger bathroom i'm gonna put some of the doors so i remember that it's the bedroom i mean this bedroom can have a single door this one can have a double door and the bathroom just a single door as well i want the entrance on this side and not on this side because i know that the dining area is gonna kind of be around here maybe i'll push this wall out so that then we could put a couch here and then the TV on this. Uh oh, yeah, I outlined it without putting pillars down. So that's gonna be another problem. I mean, you can kind of fix it by deleting where the walls are, but then you lose a lot of money. Let me just place this gable roof. I don't really wanna figure out how to place it. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Ooh, I guess it wouldn't hurt to bump out the roof forward here where the porch is. It looks good. And I wanna also push out like the wings of the roof. And I just realized I already used up 5K. Should I spend 220 bucks on this pillar? Is it? worth it underneath here oh we don't have a front door let's get the traditional side light door this is like a proper suburban house oh i think you guys are gonna really like this so one thing i was thinking about with the budget is how much money i'm spending on the exterior versus like the interior so i was thinking of putting aside like not 15k because that's like a perfect 50 50 for the exterior interior i was thinking of putting aside like 17k 18k for the whole exterior so that means 13,000 would be left for just the interior that is what i'm thinking about doing i'm already spending a lot on windows and i want to put shutters on them too and i still haven't recolored everything there's a lot to do i want the bay window how does this look Oop, it's the wrong way <laughs> okay it's 400 do we like it huh we'll use it we'll do it my voice is so croaky because i woke up like an hour ago i want to do a really interesting like color scheme for this house color scheme that i haven't really done before so what i was thinking is these horizontal planks with this sand blue color around this part of the house we're not going to put it on this bump but we'll put it here on the sides and i think we won't put it here so you might be asking what is this gonna be i was thinking brick we're gonna go for nougat i swear i've never used that color it's given the house an interesting look for sure i want to give the roof tiles like a dark brown all right it doesn't look too bad because i don't have game passes i can't do trim yeah i press t and it says advanced placing so i cannot do roof trim but what we can do instead which will definitely look good is put this molding at the top here and wrap it all around the house it's just gonna look good wow I like it. Let me recolor these doors. I want them to be literally just pure white. Our money is dropping really, really fast. And I'm still not done. Like, I want to use shutters. I'm going to go for the cheapest ones. Look at them. They look so good. The shutters are worth it. I love them so much. I want to put them on the door. It's like it has wings. Low key, though, it could go on the door because there's side light windows. <laughs> We have 20,400. I want to add like a concrete path that just leads up to the pavement. I am trying to find a path for our house. And if you're wondering, what is that over there? I made that. Isn't it so cool? It's from Brookhaven. This place still needs a little bit more oomph. The exterior is nice, but it's the like ambience of the place. It just feels so lacking. I need more environment. Thinking if I use a couple of like bushes, then it'll probably look better. Like if I just make a big garden spot here. I'm gonna use this large stone to like close off this garden path oh that looks like a pond it's giving pond i think it's because i can't resize the stone to be like smaller i'll just recolor them to be a little brighter maybe it's gonna give less pond yeah I just realized i'm at 18k i am gonna wrap some dirt inside of these rocks yeah okay i'm done spending i'm done spending okay so we're left with 18,000 for the rest of the interior which seems pretty good for me we're gonna start by outlining the whole floor of the house i'm gonna use like one texture all throughout i like how the planks look i low-key want there to be like the same brick on our interior i think that's gonna look cool oh wait i just realized like i said that the tv would be here on this wall but i put the bay window
window. So obviously cannot go there. So maybe what we'll do instead is that the TV will go on this wall and this will be like the couch. Whatever, we'll make it work. I wanted the brick where the TV would be, which is why I wanted to put it here because it'll look more realistic. But I guess we'll just have to put it on this spot. Let's put our baseboard everywhere. Whenever I say baseboard, I think of baseball. I don't think I should put it where the brick is. These rooms are actually like decently sized. Uh oh, the baseboard is eating up my money. Oh, wait, I need to do this. As much as I don't want to do this, I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to place curtains, which is another expense for us. But for a house like this, this type of expense is important. I kind of want curtains that drip all the way to the floor. Why do I like this design? It's foil. How about this design? Why not? All right, that ate up a lot of money. Good thing we don't have that many windows. I want the walls to be sort of beige, not too like yellowish beige. I I'm not sure. It's like white, but not kind of like oyster, but not lightstone gray kind of captures it. This is literally what I want. I mean, I guess it doesn't really look beige. It just has like a slight yellowish sort of color underneath it. Should I make this brick? I think I will. And I'll have to delete this. I feel kind of sad that we don't have our pillars, but I don't think it's that bad. I don't think having no pillars is taking away from the style of this house. The house still looks really good. I realize that this bathroom doesn't have a door. So while I'm sorting it out, let me just recolor these doors. And now we're going to yoink this door. We have basically 16,000 left. And I think that's more than enough money for the whole house. It is dark. We need light immediately. Pronto. And I don't know if I'm going to be using any like fancy lights because like when it comes to spending money, I just rather get these sleek ceiling lights than anything else because anything else is more expensive and I feel like it doesn't look as good. Like most people don't really look up at the ceiling to see what kind of lights there are. Wow, I put a lot of lights and I still feel like it's not enough. We were just at like 16K and now we're at 14K and we still need more light. This is not good. Oh, that's better. Okay, I'm going to put a floor light. I will put this below one and I think that's enough. For the entryway, I'm going to be placing a dresser, a little mirror on it, some slippers underneath, fragrances, car keys. I wanted to use a big mirror, but the big mirror is going to be too expensive and we cannot use all of our money on silly things like that. But I do want to get a floor plan. Oh no, it's 240. Oh, can I get like a cheap floor plan? Wait, I can do this. I think that comes out cheaper. It's 60 plus 50, which makes 110, which is cheaper by like more than half. And it's basically like the same thing. Look at it. That's actually kind of a cute floor plan. Wait, I want to do it side to side. I want to place it in a couple of places. Ooh, it's so cute. I'll also put it here. It's like fresh air from the bathroom. Enough place in those. I'm just wasting money now. Why is everything so expensive? I should have probably left more money for the interior. I think we can use the hairpin bench and just move this in this corner. I'm going to place pillows on this, which we cannot resize, but that's not a big deal. Look at this carpet. It fits really well here. I think there's this twisted wood design that kind of looks like a carpet. I'm going to be using that and I'm going to color it cloudy gray. Look at the vibe of that entryway. I love it, but we're going to call that quits and we're going to move on to the living room and I want like a small TV. This one's really tiny. Okay. Okay. Whatever. I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend 900 on an AccuSlim. Can I put a fireplace? Oh, I can. I know it's 600 bucks and I'm going a little crazy with this living room. Like I'm spending a fair amount. I basically spent a K in the living room and I'm still not done because they need a coffee table. I will literally just get them the simplest coffee table. The coffee table books are pretty expensive. See, they're like 200 at the minimum. I don't want to be spending money like that. So I'm just going to get these stacked plain books and pretend that these are coffee books. And we're definitely going to need another carpet, which I am yoinking from the entryway. And I'll give them a little coffee mug because it's a really cheap decoration. 20 bucks only. I'm going to call the living room done. I want to do more for it. Trust me. But the kitchen and the bathroom, those two are pretty expensive. So we got to get these out the way. We're going to grab this counter. It's not the cheapest counter. This is the cheapest counter. But look at it. It doesn't have any like cabinets or drawers, nothing like that. So I prefer this counter so much more. Fridge cabinet. We're going to get the cheapest stove if it places. Will it not let me place it? Oh no. I'm going to start running into problems, aren't I? Can I sort this problem? <gasps> I figured out how to fix the problem. We only have 8,500. This is tough. I want to grab the tall cabinets. I don't like the shorter ones and the tall ones are a little bit more expensive, but I think it'll work out better. Let's just grab the cheapest microwave, just the essentials. That's literally all we need. And this cabinet hood right here. That is a nice kitchen. We need a kitchen sink right now. Pronto. Where is it? It's of most importance and it's 300 bucks. Okay. We need like the most simple dining table that we can get. Simplicity dining table. Can we fit it? Oh no. 
no. Kind of. Does it take up a lot of space? It does. How about a smaller dining table? Like this contemporary one, 620 bucks. All right, we'll do it. And the dining chairs are expensive, so we're not gonna get that. We're gonna get our good old simplicity chairs. I think that's all I can do for the kitchen and dining area. I wanna decorate more, but I'm gonna have to leave that for last because we gotta do the two bathrooms and the two bedrooms with whatever money we have left. And you know, I don't wanna leave anything empty. I feel like if I leave something empty, then I have failed. Cheapest toilet. Cheapest sink. Oh, I don't want the cheapest sink. Can I like spend another 120 and get a nicer sink? This one's a little nicer, especially if you recolor it. I was thinking when I was first making this that I wanted a bathtub. And I know it's like a little silly to try and get a bathtub when I only got this much money. Let me just put it. I got the cheapest one. I'll put the frame mirror. We need that toilet paper roll. Just little decor. All right, that's gonna be this bathroom. I don't wanna spend more. I will yoink the toilet though. And I guess I'll also grab the sink. Put the same framed mirror. We have 3,500. Basic shower. This is what you're gonna get. Come on, basic shower. I know you can fit there. And let's yoink that bathroom mat. We have 3,200. And 51 for these two bedrooms. I added some lights and that already took off some more money. This is painful. I want to get them a double bed, but it's 900 bucks. I ain't got that money. I do want to give this person a double bed in this room. Like they got a double door, double bed. Ooh, I really don't know how this person's room is going to be. They have such a big room. Like I'm kind of regretting how big I made the room. Look at the money. It's just flying away. Simplicity wardrobe for you. You'll get a simplicity dresser. We're at 2000 and I do want to spend some money redecorating this bed. I want to also spend money on this bedroom for some more light. It's so dark. <laughs> They're both lacking, but this one much more than this one. Okay, you're gonna get a pen cup. Oh, wait, I just realized we have the pizza box, which I can definitely put here. It's really cheap. Simplicity desk, 300. Do I, do look, I look like, like I, have I have that, that money? money? Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do it. Do you get a desk? I'll give you a desk. The money is so low. <gasps> no, this is bad. Who wants a plant? 110 only. It helps light up the place. Okay, I think this person would do much better with a plant. Oh, wait, they don't have... Nightstand. I only have a thousand. I think the simplicity has a nightstand. It has an end table. We'll use this as a nightstand. Here, side to side, only 60 bucks. And for you as well. It's so dark here. I can't get over that. How much is this light again? 135. I think it'll have to do. I'll put it at their desk. Money is running out fast. We have these cheap books. I can put it on this person's desk. And I can also put it on this person's desk. 681 left. Memo board, 190. How about a cork board? 165. That's what we're going to get. I don't want it in the center. I like it asymmetrical like that. This one is just turning out to be a better room because there's much less space in it. How much is an alarm clock? 75 bucks. Actually, now that I'm thinking of it, maybe we don't have that type of money. 321. How about a carpet? Carpet helps. This person definitely gets a carpet. Do we need this carpet here? I was thinking yes, but I can't resize it and I can't seem to place it well. We're gonna get rid of this carpet. So we have 251. This room needs a makeover with 251 bucks. What can I do with such little money? This oak shelf, 20 bucks only. One over here and then another one over there. I'm trying to put the short grass. Here, some coffee. It's the middle of the room. It's bad. The person just moved in here. That is the plot. They're still getting unpacked. And for our final 31 bucks is this piece of paper. Yeah, I only have enough to like recolor one thing. I would say this. And now we officially have one dollar left. This is our only 30,000 house. Not only is this house only 30k, but I didn't even use any game passes to make this. Here's the proof of the total house value. Let's go inside, shall we? Here's our entryway. Super cute. Here's a door. This leads to the guest bathroom. And this is also my only like budget suburban house that I've done. This is the living room. Yeah, it has a whole fireplace. This is the dining area. This is the kitchen. Through here, this leads to the main bathroom. But I would say that the guest bathroom looks nicer. This double door leads to a big bedroom. Through here to the right is the final room. And I really ran out of money here. You can tell it was way too big of a room. I wish I made it smaller because then it would have been easier to decorate. That is all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never ever miss a video. I love you guys so much. See ya!